Oh yeah, there's a fish. He's going upstream, huh? <laughs> so you gonna see the fish? Yeah, there's fish out here. <laughs> I guess if you want, there's fish all along here, bud. Look at them. There's fish everywhere down this river. They're pretty much all pinks, pink salmon, and they're by walking this river. There, they're all in here. They, they start moving pretty quick. As soon as you start moving that way, over here, they'll move. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Not sure if you, not sure if you can see the pinks or not, but the pinks are, they're in there. They're in that water, just chilling, trying to go up the stream to go spawn. All right, Jackson, what are we doing? Making chili sauce. Making chili mac with our jet boil. Bringing a fish in, Jackson. Oh, careful. All right, Jackson. We got to reel him in a little bit, I think. Oh, oh you got one? Yeah, he's got one now. What's up, bud? I don't know. He's a fish. <laughs> Still working them? Oh, they still work. <laughs> you gonna reel some in? What'd you get? What'd you get? Got yourself a little pink? Yeah. Yep. Oh, you want a picture? So uh, this morning we went down to the, uh, the mouth of the uh, Montana Creek and Jackson and I did some fishing. We uh, went trying to catch silver. We didn't catch any silvers, but uh, I, I caught a, one. Jackson had one. I caught a chum. I caught about four pinks and then uh, inadvertently snagged some fish. We, we threw them all back though. No, we kept nothing. Um, we we're just trying to catch silvers today. If uh, we have better luck later, we'll keep them. If not, we'll just keep on doing what we do but right now we're just enjoying a, some hot dogs over a campfire for, for breakfast this morning we had biscuits and gravy from the old uh, mountain house on the jet boil so that was, that was pretty tasty and uh, we'll, we'll show you some fishing spots how we did later thanks are you having fun with your camping trip Jackson yeah yeah what's uh what's the best part of camping Eating hot dogs over the fire? No, fishing. Fishing. We were up last night till uh, almost 11 o'clock fishing. <laughs> it was, we had a good time. We walked walked at least half a mile down that one creek trying to find fish. You know, I mean, they're, they're in there just we're trying to catch a certain species. We were going for uh, rainbows and dollies last night. Didn't catch any. You're gonna burn your shoes. No. Well, that's not quite done. We need to toast that wiener a little more. Let's put it back <laughs> on the fire. Why were you chuckling, Jackson? It's because I said wiener. Does that make? Is that funny to you? We got a pretty nice looking campsite, but unfortunately, it's right along the Parks Highway here. And uh, outside Talkeetna, so we get a lot of road traffic. But at nighttime, the uh, the traffic slows down quite a bit, which is good because you know semis and cars. This is a big uh, highway between um, Fairbanks and Anchorage, so wouldn't it be good if it kept uh, traveling all night. 
So uh, Jackson was just telling me that he needs to test the, to make sure we can cook marshmallows over the fire, make sure it's safe. He's not sure if it is or not, so he wants to be able to test them and let me know. So uh, Jackson was just telling me that he needs to test the, to make sure we can cook marshmallows over the fire, make sure it's safe. He's not sure if it is or not, so he wants to be able to test them and let me know. Jackson, where are you at? Right here. Are you uh, a pro to make sure that the uh, marshmallows can be toasted over, over our fire? Yeah. So you're going to find out if that can be done? Yeah. Well, thank goodness you're here, because otherwise I don't know what we would do. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's looking good now. It's getting, getting that nice charred look. Mmm, hot dogs. So you got your marshmallows, now you're getting ready to go over the fire? Yeah. Okay. Jackson, you're such a pro. You seem to really know what you're doing. You're golden. Already golden? Is that how you do it? Yeah. So today night we are having an Italian pepper steak Ooh. and we're using a jet boiler. Nice. But that's not all. That's not all? We also have raspberry crumble dessert. Raspberry crumble dessert? We are so lucky. And it has chocolate on it and raspberry. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Are you hungry for dinner? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to be ready soon, okay? Okay. There's our uh, Jeep over there just hanging out, our refuge for the evening. Yes. With our, with our smoky fire nearby. It's right down there. It's all smoky, but that's fine. We got wood to put on there later tonight so we can get a fire going. So Jackson, how is the uh, Italian steak? Pretty good. Is it pretty good? Would you eat that one again? Yeah. What would you rate the Italian steak on a scale of one to ten? Ten, I want to eat that right now again. And one, I don't want that ever again. Nine. A nine? Ooh, that's pretty good. So this one's pretty much a Jackson approved uh, lunch, huh? It's a good one. All right. Well, enjoy your uh, Italian steak, Jackson. While you're roughing it. Die from it. So our that's what our crumble looks like. It looks pretty good. And Jackson made a good point. The the packaging says four servings, but they only put three, three people. people on the package. So I think that should tell you something. And it only looks like it only and looks I think fine for two people. It looks like we only got enough for two. Of course we might be having more we're supposed to, but I mean like that's not enough. That's just a little dessert. I know. Yeah. It's not that dessert. Want to taste it? You get it all figured out? What's up? How'd you get that wrapped around? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I think you're set. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs>